Hey, my friend. So for small groups today, we're going to be talking about numbers. And we're going to practice our numbers 1 through 10 and putting that many. So I want to start off by reading a book. And this book is about a little mouse and about different things that he puts on his tree. But he goes in order from 1 to 10. So let's go ahead and read the story first, and then I'll show you what you're going to do. You're gonna make a treat too. So let's take a look at our story. This book is called Merry Christmas, Mouse. And the author is Laura Numeroff. She is the person who wrote the story. The illustrator is Felicia Bond. She is the person who drew the pictures. So let's get started. Merry Christmas, Mouse. He's the little mouse from If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. That's him. <laughs> let's start with number one. Mouse puts one star on the Christmas tree. And where did he put it? Did he put it on the top or the bottom? On the top of the Christmas tree. That's where he put it. He adds two angels. Now he adds two angels and look, they're little mice angels on the Christmas tree. Three snowflakes. There's his three snowflakes. I see them on the Christmas tree. Four reindeer. Can you see the little reindeer? And it looks like they all have a red nose. They might all be Rudolph ornaments. Five snowmen. Now he added five snowmen. Let's make sure there's five. One, two, three, four, five. Those are pretty cool snowman ornaments. Six. Toy soldiers. Ooh, now he added some soldiers to his Christmas tree. They almost look like nutcrackers. And what are they? Are they people? No, they're little mice soldiers too. One, two, three, four, five, six. What comes after six? Seven. Seven? Robots! <gasps> Whoa, he put robot ornaments in his tree! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, they're all there. What comes after seven? Eight. Eight little elves. Oh, now he's putting little elf ornaments. They might be mice too. It's hard to tell. Let's make sure there's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What comes after eight? Nine. Nine mittens. Now remember, mittens, are they the ones with all the fingers or two big holes? Two holes, one hole for the thumb and a big hole for the rest of the fingers. There are their mittens and there's nine of them. Let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine. What comes after nine? Ten and ten rockets. So now he put some rocket ornaments on his tree. That is really cool. I have not seen rocket ornaments. Let's count and make sure there's 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. There's 10. We counted. Only a hundred more to go. Oh my goodness. We only counted to 10 and he still has 100 more ornaments to put on his tree. Look at all those ornaments he still has. 
Mouse is going to be super busy to put all of those ornaments on his tree. Do you think you have that many ornaments on your tree? I don't even think I have a hundred <laughs> ornaments on my tree. Merry Christmas, Mouse. Look at his tree. He put all 100 ornaments on his tree. What's happening to his Christmas tree? It's bending. Why do you think it's bending? Kind of like our coconut tree from Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. It's starting to bend. Why? Because he has too many ornaments on his tree. Oh my goodness, Mouse. What were you thinking? That's a whole lot of ornaments. He worked very hard on his tree, though. The end. So that book was all about numbers and counting. And when we started counting them, we noticed that I used my finger and pointed to each one to count. Well, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be adding some numbers to our tree, and you're going to be putting that many right by the number. So let me show you what I want you to do. Parents, for this activity, you're going to need, you can use either white paper. I went ahead and used green paper, so that way it looks like a Christmas tree. And you're going to cut it out in the shape of a triangle so it looks like a Christmas tree. But here's the important part. I divided the Christmas tree up so that way I have 10 spaces. So I want there to be 10 spaces so they can put 10 different things on their Christmas tree. So once you have your Christmas tree all ready, you are ready for the activity. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write the numbers 1, through 10 on our Christmas tree, okay? 